two. You've got five minutes in between classes to grab your books, use the restroom, get a drink, or fill up your water bottle. That's not a lot of time at all. And if you need to, if you've got a large bottle like me, I mean 750 milliliters, and someone else is drinking at the water fountain, you're probably going to be late for class. I've been late for Gross's class tons of times. I know. Good credibility. That. But if we had one of these water bottle refilling stations, we'd be able to much more quickly fill up our water bottles, and we'd be late way less often. Is it? It's a hands-free, environmentally friendly, quick, clean way of filling up your water bottle without being at the weird angles and without getting in anyone else's way. And really, all you have to do to use it is stick it underneath and let it do, it, let it do its thing. You know? Take your water bottle in there, and it fills it right up. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. <laughs> It only takes between 15 and 20 seconds. It's as simple as that. Alright, so why do we need it? Well, in 2006, there was 50 billion water bottles that were thrown away. And only 23% of those got recycled. So there's still 38 billion that were going into landfills. And for about 100 people, they can go through about this many uh, water bottles, which is a little over 30 a week. And you times that by five, you have 10 of those bags full of water bottles, and that's where our school goes every week. And that's why we should definitely need these water bottle cleaning stations for our school. And I think with these uh, water bottles, they're plastic and they have BPAs, which is the chemicals that go, if they're sitting in sunlight or heat, they'll seep into the water and really bad for your health. But if you've got a water bottle like this to refill, you're not going to worry about those chemicals. And that's why we need these cleaning stations at our school. went to CMU and where they have the water bottle refilling station and we actually interviewed some of the students that were using the water bottle at the time and so this is our first interview. Even though our water is all the same, yeah. it, it does taste a little different. It tastes, I don't like it, tastes a little better. I prefer using that over just to drink more water. So she said she really liked it and she said that, you know, the water tastes like a little colder and there's better quality to it. So she would definitely recommend it for our school. We also interviewed another girl. We 
need water bottle refilling stations because the water bottles are disgusting and most people have water bottles anyways and it's better for you know, water than that. Um, I think it's a really good idea. A lot of universities are doing it. So I think water filling stations would be a great idea. I see kids all the time going to break the phone, and so something that would purify the water and be uh, readily available. I think it's a great idea if you got water bottle filling stations at your high school. I think it would make students drink more water, and I think it would also make teachers drink more water. So everyone that we talked to, we interviewed, all came to the same agreement that yes, we should have them. There's so many perks to having them. So everyone thought it was a great idea. Right, we took some surveys and we found out that a lot of people aren't drinking what they should be, which is recommended eight or more glasses of water each day. And with the refilling stations and carrying water bottle with you, I think that would definitely increase a lot more. If you see the station, you put water, carry another glass, no big deal. It also definitely helped throw away less water bottles, definitely refilling it, whereas even just a small 3% of 60 or more people throwing it away. That's a lot per week. And if for people who are even refilling it now, that number would still go up with another refilling station rather than just a water bottle. So these are, we did our research, we went to different websites and looked at different information, and we came up with four different choices. So this is our first choice. Now this is a water refilling station that mounts right on the wall. And you can see that it does not have a drinking fountain with it. And this one is non-refrigerated and is about $1,200. And these are all hands-free, all of them are hands-free. Now this one goes right on top of the current water fountains we have at school. So the ones by the gym, this could go on, or there's some of the middle school, this could go on. Now this one is refrigerated, but it depends on the water fountain you have. So if the water fountain you have is already refrigerated, this will refrigerate it. If it's not, then it won't be. So it just depends on the water fountain. This one is $700. Now this one, is the same thing I just showed you, except it comes with the water pump. So this one is fifteen hundred dollars, and it comes with the water pump. So we can put this in like the hallways, or by the cafeteria, or by the office. Rach, that turned down. Was that refrigerated or no? Yes. For fifteen. Yes. Okay. And this one is one that comes right into the wall. This might be a little inconvenient for the school to have to cover the wall. And this one is the most expensive. This is the best choice to do because it can go right on the ones we already have. And it is refrigerated. Yeah. Well, it depends on the drinking fountain we have. So if the drinking fountain is refrigerated, then it, that would be Gotcha. Right. So we came to the conclusion that the one on the left should go on the ones we already have, the drinking fountain we already have, and the one on the right should go in the hallways, or by the office, or by the cafeteria. So it's depending on the drinking fountain we have. And that's what we came to the conclusion that should be the best choice to do because it can go right on the ones we already have. And then there's also information about how to install it. Called a bunch of high schools and colleges and asked them if they had water refilling stations. Now, none of the high schools we called had them, but all of these colleges. Let me back you up for a sec. Which high schools did you call? Do you remember? All the ones in our conference. Okay. Ones that we called, but um, all the colleges that we called that had them highly recommended. That they were extremely useful and that all the students loved it. And just two examples of Saginaw Valley, Western, and here's a bunch of other schools that had them but didn't really know because they're pretty useless. You can contact us through the website and our business card for that. Well done. Well done with them. They got those business cards for free too, people.